Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're all well. Today I wanted to show you how to make these really fun uh, kind of London Underground signs, but something a little bit different for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Um, so I'm getting really into the uh, into the swing of things now. Uh, everything around my craft room is turning red, white and blue. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd show you these. These are really quick, really simple, and you can do so many things with them. Um, so these are all just obviously individual ones. You can make as many as you want to, um, but I quite like having Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Uh, obviously you could do happy birthday ones, you could amend it however you want to. Um, but yeah, so I thought it's a really quick video this one because I've done all the pre-cutting for you. Um, because to be honest, you know, <laughs> you've seen the final thing and also I might not really sure what else I want to do to um, to label it up. So uh, so all you really need are these three things here. So I've got a large circle, which is about four and seven eighths of an inch wide, a small circle. So this is Poppy Parade, sorry. And this is basic white and this is about three and one eighth. And then we've got a strip of Pacific Point and this is five and a half inches long by one inch wide. Um, so the way I worked it out, I kind of just got my, my circle dies and just popped it on the middle. So I wanted enough of the red around the outside, but a nice big white circle in the middle. So, so all you've got to do once you've cut these out is basically take your glue and glue them together, which is really nice and quick and simple. And if you're anything like me, you tend to cut lots of circles at the same time. So when you're gluing your strip, tip for you, because I didn't do this the first time, you just want to glue somewhere around the middle. You don't want to go too close to the edges because uh, obviously it's going to overhang slightly. So we do it just about like that. I'm only eyeballing it. I'm not measuring to make sure it is definitely in the centre. Um, obviously, if you want to, that's up to you. Um, but as you see, we now have an underground sign. Um, the letters that I used to label it up was from the Playful Alphabet set from Stamping Up, but that's now no longer available from the current catalogue. Um, however, you might be able to find it online on a sale somewhere. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you, it's the same theme, um, but here I have made some bunting because you know I like my bunting. Um, and again, I've not labelled this up. I'm not sure if I'm going to put any lettering on there or not. Um, but this is made in exactly the same way, just obviously using a smaller circle die. So I've got my bits here for you. So again, I'm just going to glue on the basic white and pop it into the centre of the poppy parade. And then again, with the same with the strip, I'm going to add the glue, but only roughly to the middle. I don't want to go too close to the ends. And then we'll stick that over the, the center so it overhangs on the sides and then I left myself an extra bit of twine so that I could stick some more of these on I think I only want about five or six of them I don't want it to be too long but obviously you can go as many as you want to so all I've done nice and simple I want to keep it very simple um, I'm just going to add a little bit of sewing tape to the underside Roughly trying to keep about the same ish length in the middle um, and I want it closer to the top than in the middle and I'm just going to tape that on. So they're not going to be the most robust. Um, obviously you can um, add more glue and things to make it so that it does stay there for longer. Um, but as long as they hold up for my afternoon tea party, then that's all that I really worry about. Um, but I just think it's going to be fantastic having these little bits of bunting along with the other bunting that I made and and my my little signs. Uh, and obviously you can use these as coasters if you want to. You could use them as decorations for the door. I think I'm going to put these on my on my front door so that people see them as soon as they come to knock on the door uh, and the bunting will go all around the garden. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a really, really quick one. So you just need a large circle in um, Poppy Parade, a smaller circle in Basic White and then a strip in Pacific Point. Um, I did forget to tell you the smaller circle sizes. So this circle here, which I cut out the Poppy Parade with, that's about two and seven eighths of an inch across. 
suppose that's the diameter, I should use the proper word. And then the smaller one is one and seven eighths across. And the little blue strip across the front is three and a quarter inches long by five eighths of an inch wide. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's a nice quick video for today. And um, yeah, I hope you get lots of these dotted around because I think they're really cute. Um, but also, if you're like me, I love London. Um, I live in London now. I didn't when I was younger. I still love London. So I'm so excited to be making these because I can pop them all around my house. Um, but yeah, if you know anyone like me who loves London, you could make a lovely little birthday card, uh, all sorts of things. So, uh, But anyway, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you give this a go and that I hope you enjoy your celebrations for the Jubilee. And uh, I will see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye bye.